What's up you guys, it's your boy 3D Baby here again with another Logic Pro tutorial. Hope this one helps you out with any doll you're using today. Now, we're gonna hop right in. Today, we're gonna be mixing with the little baby preset from the unathecollective.com website. You can find any of these presets there, but I'm gonna show you how we mix this thing and I'm gonna even kind of hop into how we got the sound and tone that Lil Baby uses. Now I'm by no means Lil Baby, but this is me doing my best in my genre, in my field, uh, showing you how you can get that light, kind of airy, robotic, but clean, crisp sound out of your mix. All right, let's hop right into this thing, all right? I'm just living on my body. Got me feeling so godly. Living on my body. Got me, got me feeling so godly. Got me feeling so godly. I'm just feeling so blessed. He do it the best. Christian first, still be on my chest. Amazing grace, now I'm singing again. From a life full of sin, I praise him again and again and again. Spinning this word in the testament. Hopped in that water, the spirit hopped in. The praises go up, the main go spin. I'm talking to God all in his DMs. For God love the world, made Jesus my kin. Died on that cross and clicked on my sins. Christ is alive, he's risen again. Just living on my body. Got me feeling so godly. Living on my body. Uh, got me kicking that word up. Alright guys, so that's a good little preview for you to get a feel for the mix and how that sounds. All right, so hopping right in, things are going to look a little bit more condensed this time go around because we put everything into track stacks. So those are basically summing stacks that they help with CPU usage and they help with organization. So to do that, all you have to do is right click on your track and then click create track stack so we're going to open this track stack that we have created up and you can name the track stacks so we're going to start off with the hook um, we have the hook vocals here and then we have the VR stack so that's my versus stack so we have those verses with the with a preset on them and then we have our ad list down here and I have that as stock vocal bus because I use one of my stock vocal bus chains to, you know, get a little finesse on that. And you can find that stock vocal bus chain for free in the link below in the bio. Just go to una.com, put in your email so that we can get you that preset. Make sure you subscribe. And after that, hey, it's all on you. So, um, and you can use our tutorials to tune those presets to your liking. All right. So next in our chain, we have a classic compressor, which is the VCA compressor here, Studio A. In the VCA, it's the red one in the Logic stock compressors. And we're going to be using stock plugins today. So because I know everybody either isn't ready or doesn't have the money to invest in third party plugins. So we're going to get you right. So we're going to start with a ratio of about 3.2 threshold of 35.5, turn auto gain off, then we're going to have a decently quick attack, not too fast, of 9.5 milliseconds, and then a release of 110 milliseconds. All right, let's hear what this sounds like with it and without it. I'm just feeling so blessed, he do it the best. The Christian first, still be on my chest. Amazing grace, now I'm singing again. He saved this wretch from a life full of sin. I praise him again and again and again. Spinning this word, a new testament. Hopped in that water, the spirit hopped in. The praises go up, the mates go spin. I'm talking to God, all in his DMs. For God of the world, make Jesus my kin. Now you can tell from the meters that we're not taking a whole lot of volume away, not giving a lot of volume. We're getting it right under that negative five threshold that I've told you to look for when you're um, looking at your graphs on your compressors. What this is going to do is it's going to give you the opportunity to do recordings in a way where you see you're going to hear a little compression like the vocals get smaller, but then you're going to also get more clarity like they get more gain or more volume. So that's what you're looking for there. Um, and just Play with your mix until you can get 
those ratios and that threshold, play with those knobs until you get that around that negative 5 dB range or you start hearing that light compression that you're looking for with that initial compressor. Now, as I've said in the past, I like to use a method like this to do my de-essing. So this is a two-part method, method for de-essing. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, we, I did some sweeping and I found the frequencies that were hurting and bothering my ears. I boosted those and then I pulled them down. And then from there, I dial those frequencies in to my de-esser. So here's the first layer. Here's the EQ. We're going to hear this with and without it. I'm just feeling so blessed, he do it the best. The Christian first, still be on my chest. Amazing grace, now I'm singing again. He saved his wretch from a life full of sin. I praise him again and again and again. Spinning his word in the testament. Hop in that water, the spirit hop in. The praises go up, the makes go spin. I'm talking to God all in his DMs. For God of the world, make you. You can hear from that, those S's just sound dirty without that compression. You hear how it does take a little tone out, but I'm not worried about that because we have EQs that are especially for adding tone, so we can put that back in. So let's move on to the de and how we dial that in. So pay attention to these frequencies here. So we have the 5,800 5, hertz range, and then we have the 7,950 hertz range where we did that initial EQing, okay? Now we're going to take those frequencies and I use that first frequency kind of that 5,800 range and I dialed that in and then I did my EQ, my, my DSing, excuse me, from there. I'm just feeling so blessed, you do it the best. The Christian first, still be on my chest. Amazing grace, now I'm singing again. He saved his wretch from a life full of sin. I praise him again and again and again. Spinning his word in the testament. Hop in that water, the spirit hop in. The praises go up, the makes go sin. I'm talking to God all in his DMs. For God of the world, make Jesus my kin. Died on that cross and put all my sins. Christ is alive. He could... All right, so you can hear from me switching that de -er off and me switching it back on, how the de -er catches what the EQ doesn't, but they complement each other in a way in which I found best because to me the de -er stock alone and even de from third party plugins that I've used always need a little extra subtractive EQ in those ranges that are highly sibilant. We're not trying to take too much out but we're just trying to keep it from cutting your head off and messing with your listeners ears as you're producing your songs or mixing for others now let's move on all right so we have next a uh, regular eq like i said so we're going to be actually doing a little bit more subtractive eq and shaping with this eq this is like your standard default eq so we're rolling off at 1500 hertz range we're clearing some space up to give some life at that 200 hertz range we have it a little under that for this mix same thing around that 400 hertz range for that boxiness for rap vocals you it just i don't know why but if you subtract there it gives something less is more i guess you know one of those kind of concepts then for this in particular mix to get those bright vocals on the top end tamed from the preset we have the 9000 hertz range over here does that make sense two two thousand nine hundred hertz range and then we have the 1700 hertz range up here with some cuts there moving on we're going to use the multipressor i'm gonna solo the solo these tracks up again all right now since we have the multipressor next in line we're going to show you what this does this is a very essential plug-in guys it is literally a eq and a compressor wrapped in one and 
you have control over various frequency bands and you can give compression to certain places. So basically, you can get more, less, tone, clarity, compression with space out of this plugin when it's used correctly. So what we have here is some low end drops around the 240 hertz range. We drop that down. Then we have around the 2200 hertz range. We have some more drops. We're doing a little bit more compression, but then around that high end, like I said, we're still going to get that light, high end, tight sound out of this vocal. This is an important part of doing that around that 890 hertz range because you remember when we were doing some EQing and compressing there because of our S's and T's to get our DSing right. We're going to be boosting that area, but we're going to be compressing that at the same time. And same goes for that fourth band. We're just doing some very slight boosting there, not a whole lot. And we're having some light compression to going on there. Let's see what it sounds like with and without it. Let's hear it with the music. You can hear as this plugin is engaged, the dichotomy between the sounds. It's like you get brand new life into the mix. It's almost like adding an effects plugin to your mix. It's crazy how it works. And because you can just boost those top end frequencies to where they ring out so clearly that. It's not muddy by the low end, but the low end is still there where it needs to be. The mids are still there where they needs to be, but they're not overtaking. And if anything, we could add it. We could lighten the compression, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to move on. And remember, we're using these plugins that have compression. I'm not playing them with the volume of the music because I want you to hear what's going on. I want you to really understand what's going on with the frequencies and with the compressors, with the compressors, excuse me. But when you're using these frequency or these dynamic based plugins like compressors, multipressors, DSers, check all of this with the music before you move on because you don't want it to be too little compression, too much compression for the mix. Trust me, just take your time with it. Don't rush, do the work, and by the time you get done, you'll be like, oh, hey, I'm done. Sounds good. All right, moving on. Next, we have another compressor and I like to use this compressor to just get some more tone. I like to get some volume. That's why I use this Studio Fat. It has a good, you know, just a good amount of volume and tone and everything I like. So let's check this out. So you can hear, even though it's not a lot going on on our meter, just what we've done with the compression, I did this to ear and you can do the same, or you can dial in my frequencies or my settings and go from there. Basically what this does is it gives you an opportunity to just get more volume, more tone. We put a little soft distortion on there because I just like the life that it gives. I like how it feels and then we move on. 
All right, let's move on to the 2BQ. So our 2BQ is going to be another one of those plugins that's going to be very useful, very useful in, in us getting to a place where we have all the tone that we want and that crystal clear clarity on the high end, okay? So let's see what we did here. We boosted the lows a little bit around 3 dB. Then we boosted the 6K range, and then we attenuated that about 4 to 3 dB. And then we have a bandwidth about 2, and that's about how much space, how large or small the bandwidth curve is going to be on this particular EQ. Then we, on the high end, did some more boosting, I should say here, around the 9, nine to 10K range at 9.4 kilohertz, a drive of about four sickly smooth output, these low frequencies inputs down here. We have these set at the low, around two. We're gonna be around that low end. We're just doing some cuts down there so it doesn't get too rumbly. Then on the high end, around the 4K range, we're doing a little boost because we did some cuts with the multipressor in the last steps okay so let's see what this sounds like with and without you see what i'm talking about you see what i'm talking about you guys see what i'm talking about instantly instantly can you hear what i'm saying this is incredible when we turn this on it literally like that multi-presser it brings another layer of life right back into the mix it's beautiful it works super well and you guys have to try this out okay this is a great tool in the logic pro stock collection all right and to find that, I'm gonna just show you real quick, just in case you don't know, EQs, vintage EQs, and then the, that's the two EQ. Next, we're gonna open up the limiter. And what we do with the limiter is, we set that output level to negative two dB so it won't clip. And then we just toggle with this gain knob to it seems like the vocals start to stick with the beat, all right? So, you can hear, with that, we've gone through the whole vocal chain, we've mixed this song to basically perfection, now we want to add the fun stuff, let's go to the effects. So, with this, effects are very important with little babies vocal style okay so with this we have a bus that we have going to a space designer and that is going to be our lead reverb on this chain so what we have going on here is just some basic compression you can use a preset I would suggest like a large space and then choose from those spaces maybe adjust the wet output, put that on there, then go to the output EQ as well. Excuse me. And do some EQing here. Excuse me, let's use this one to start shaping that space that you want your EQ to be in, okay? Then we're gonna go to the EQ. We're just gonna shape this space.
want a little bit more high end in it. And then, let's see what it sounds like. All right, let's see what this sounds like. Getting that word up, uh, stretching your legs with it. Woo, press it. Christmas, get real with me. Let me see your real witness. Uh, breathing the Holy Spirit. See, now we have that lively tone, but at the same time, we have space, but it's not washy. For the delay, we have a left and a right delay, one at one fourth note, one at one eighth note. We have definitely have some low cuts and some high cuts going on here because we don't want these delays washing throughout the whole mix. We want them to kind of stay in their lane and play with the ears as your listeners enjoy your song. All right, and you can just time these delays out by ear or you can math mathematically time them out. There'll be a video for that as well. So just be looking forward to it and a playlist on our page, all right? Let's hear what this sounds like with and without the delay. But first, before we do that, I want to show you a trick that is super helpful for getting your delays right and tight. This is to side chain your delay. So side chain your delay to the vocal that it goes to. So you see this one is side chain to the VR stack. All right, and what that's going to do is it's going to cause that delay to only engage when there's a quiet space in the vocal. This is so powerful because it creates musicality. It's like anticipating the delay in the music. So if you ever listen to the song and you're like, how do they perfectly time the yeah, yeah, this is how they do it. Getting that word up, uh, stretching your legs with it. You hear that? And it's like you hear coming in and out. And this so, with that being said, this is our mix with the effects. We don't always do the effects, but I thought it'd be good to show you guys how to do the effects with the little baby style vocals, especially um, because there is a way he gets his whole sound, okay? You use this, I promise you, you will be in the ballpark of how you want to sound. If this is the style of rap that you like to indulge in and create with, okay? Now, as always, we appreciate you guys here on the channel. I love you guys. I have so much gratitude in my heart for you. Checking out our page, subscribing, watching, sharing our videos, um, and learning from us and learning with us, okay? As I find things out, I'm gonna definitely share them with you. We're gonna definitely be doing some videos for those of you guys who have third party waves, plugins, and things such as that. Um, but right now we're focusing on the people who we're focusing on the fundamentals of how to use the plugins, even if you are working with stock plugins, okay? Because we can make them sound good with both, okay? The third party pro plugins just give more options sometimes, all right? Now, with that being said, as always, it's your boy 3D Baby. Please go check out any of our merchandise before you leave. If this video was helpful or if you learned something, or if you just want to send good cosmic energy my way and love my way and support my way, please press that subscribe button so that the YouTube gods will, aka the algorithm, will favor me and that more people can enjoy these videos and get help from what I have to share with you guys, okay? All right, well, until next time, it's you and that baby. You are not alone. Peace, and we'll see you soon.